Daryl, I know you guys had a flight to catch, but what was the uh, post game celebration like in the locker room? Uh, it was a lot of energy, and uh, we was really excited about the getting the W. And I think it's a great way to start rolling into the rest of the season. Any memorable uh, post game moments or speeches, Coach Joe? Do anything fun? Uh, Coach Joe, yeah, he did. A, uh, he was jumping around and dancing and moving, and you can imagine a big guy like that just <laughs> <laughs> just swinging around. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Does it feel like it kind of reset the season for you guys a little bit? Get a big road win and go forward from there. Uh, definitely, yeah. That was that was a huge win for us, and we definitely needed that to really come off of uh, the week before and. Um, it's been huge. The offensive line guys always talk about how much they like run blocking. As a defensive lineman, do you kind of like playing against the run because you're going to do a lot of it this week? Yeah, I, I don't mind at all. I, but if I were to choose, I, I like pass rushing. It's a lot of fun. I like getting to the quarterback. But I mean, TFLs and being physical with a lineman is, is pretty fun as well. How much of a difference is there from a morale standpoint of starting the season 0 and 2 with two really emotionally difficult losses versus being 1 and 1 with so much momentum on your side? Oh yeah, compared to last season, uh, yeah, that, it was uh, it was really really rough last year starting off 0 and 2, especially the those kind of games where we're supposed to win. Uh, this this season, um, I mean, we let the first one slip away, but getting this road win is really huge for us and I feel it's a lot better <laughs> it's a lot better feeling how much easier is it to just kind of go about this week in preparation coming off a win versus having to do it off of a loss is it easier to kind of get excited and to you know lift weights or go to practice with the momentum on your side I mean yeah it, it, you're a lot more excited to do things uh I mean last week uh, after the loss came in uh, kind of dragging and but we were still determined to turn things around and I mean that was a big thing for us. But this week we came in. We was, there was a lot more energy in the weight room, uh, on practice. Uh, you could tell people were just a lot more happier. And uh, we got we got, we still got work to do and got things done last night. What was it like to so you guys uh, force three turnovers? Uh, at least compared to last year, and how you guys kind of struggled to do that. And was it a relief, or have you guys can put extra work towards that? Or what, what's your take on it? I mean, this whole off season uh, since the bench came. He's um, he's put a big emphasis on turnovers, and his deal is two or more a game. I and mean, last week we didn't fulfill that, and uh, it was definitely uh, disappointed about that. But this week getting three, uh, we we're really excited, and I mean we weren't surprised. It was something we've been working for for a long time now, and we plan on continuing that this season. Daryl, so many of your guys have big wins: USC, Arizona, Utah, Rutgers. They've all come on the road. I mean, at some point there's a pattern. Is it is it easier in some way to play on the road? I want to say easier. Uh, for me personally, I don't know about the other guys, but you just get a, you just feel like you want to win a lot. I mean, I don't, you always want to win, but I mean, on the road, when you first run out of this, uh, out of the tunnel and all the fans there are booing you, you always feel like you want to prove them wrong, and it's a, it's a lot. It's really exciting on the road. I feel. And, but we need we need to start uh, picking it up here at home and start winning home games for the fans here. Kind of, what's it been about home that uh, it's made it harder? I know it's been since early last season since you guys lost one here. Um, what's it been, and also is it kind of an anxious feeling of like trying to get one here for the fans and for the students and things like that? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's harder, but just being on the road, you you always feel like you need to prove something and. Uh, I mean, we need to bring that same intensity and uh, same vibe here at home. We we need to treat it like uh, we need to have something to prove. And especially after that week one game, do you feel more motivation, more folks heading into this week, wanting to get that win against an opponent who is owing to not necessarily having the, the greatest start to their season? I mean, yeah, definitely. After the first game here, um, that was – that was really embarrassing, and uh, I mean, we look to try to cover that up with uh, more wins, especially uh, one this week, and try not to let Wyoming get their first one on this. And also, just with you know, you've been around a while, 
this past weekend, uh, Leach has stressed this change of culture. This culture needs a change where adversity hits and we fold. Mm -hmm. This seems to be, or I guess I should ask, do you feel like this is a turning point, getting that win in Rutgers after giving up that punt return and then marching down the field? Do you feel like this team has a different mentality? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, last year, a lot of close games. I mean, my whole career my whole career here has been a lot of close games, and we just couldn't finish. And this game, I would say, is a starting point for us, learning how to finish and playing hard in the fourth quarter. And that's something Grinch has preached to us all offseason, is winning the fourth quarter. When, when Luke took the field for that final drive, was there kind of just no doubt in your mind that he was going to lead the team to a win there? Uh, yeah, I, I had no doubt in my mind. He looked, he looked really calm as he took the field. I mean, yesterday I, I overheard him uh, saying that before the drive started, he, he was telling his guys, he was like, hey, uh, Devin McCourty is here watching the game, so uh, I need him to put in a good word for, for me uh, to Tom Brady. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, just knowing that he has that kind of uh, calm presence about him it's, just makes me feel comfortable What's with him that? at quarterback. What's that like watching on the sidelines, kind of knowing at that point it's completely out of your control? Do you almost kind of become like a fan at that point? Definitely. I, I was nervous uh, when we uh, when they were reviewing Craycraft's catch and uh, and when we had to start on the nine yard line. I think yeah, that was that was nerve wracking for me. But Luke looked really calm and uh, I was really comfortable with him playing that series. Any questions on the line for, for Daryl Paulo? Nothing on the line for Daryl Paulo? Okay, uh, last chance in the room. What do you see on, have you watched any film on Wyoming yet, or what do you know about them as you prepare for this game? Uh, well, I, I've seen a little bit here and there, and uh, I know that they want to try to run the ball. Especially in the middle, they try not to get out in the perimeter much. But yeah, they're gonna try and shove it down our throats. But yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna let that happen.